Hey everyone, I'm back with another Niche's Niche episode. And to start off this year, I thought I'd give myself a drawing challenge. Now, I don't know how much I've spoken about it on social media, but I know I've mentioned it a lot to my friends that I want to get back into drawing. And I've been trying to get back into drawing for quite a few years now. I keep starting and then stopping. I'm one of those people that has to be good at something straight away. And then because I'm not, I give up and just struggle with the motivation. This video is going to be me revisiting some of my old drawings from when I was a teenager and then trying to redraw some of them even though my skill set has not improved. At least I don't think so. I have found some drawings here from many years ago. I don't know where everything else is. I'm assuming that my mum's because I had so many drawings. I used to make comics. I used to make up my own Pokemon. But if I can find any of those drawings, I will put them in future videos. But I have managed to find some here. I don't know why I have this very small selection with me, but it is what it is. And they are drawings of pop culture that I was into back then. Although one of them being something I have recently got back into, which is coincidental. So yeah, some of these pictures are clearly using references, others aren't. But I will insert close-up clips of me going through them. Please enjoy. <laughs> so what do you know? I was a fan of Dragon Ball Z and this was clearly supposed to be my take on Shenron. And then... <laughs> uh, <laughs> apparently this is my good version of Vegeta. <laughs> I have no idea if there's a bad version. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time I see it. <laughs> and then I remember I did this one a few years later, clearly using a reference, and it's so much fun. And then Goku is quite good Super Saiyan with blonde hair. I don't know why I put that text, but... <laughs> Um, I was also a big fan of McFly, so this was clearly when I was like 12 or 13, and that was, that was, um, copied from a poster. Oh, and this, this is like when I was drawing emo stuff, like cutesy emo things, like, oh my god. <laughs> it's not a phase. And then back to Dragon Ball Z characters, so Marjin Boo, it's not terrible, you can tell immediately who it is. A dragon because I was also obsessed with drawing dragons and then a fairy character I remember really liking that dress so I think that's the only reason I kept it and then more McFly clearly copied off another poster but <laughs> how square is Harry's face going back to Dragon Ball Z again more Vegeta and Bulma I like how I signed how I signed each one like people are gonna fucking want <laughs> And then another McFly picture, like, why are their heads so round? Why? <laughs> oh my god, I can't cope. So then I came across this book, which was aptly named Nisha's book, and... Oh look, more dragons! And cat, a horse head. More dragons? Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I, I used a reference for that, I'm assuming I did, but I quite like that. I quite like that. I'm not sure what age I was when I drew that, but... Oh look, another, another dragon! <laughs> so... <laughs> oh my god, my chest hurts. Oh, it's so annoying, like, I still have some sort of cold. <laughs> like, I can't laugh without coughing and just looking at those. It doesn't matter how many times I look at those old pictures, I just... Hmm. I'm gonna take a couple of those pictures and try and redraw them. So I'm going to use the pictures I've drawn as reference and also some Google image references just to help me along and see if I can make them look more decent. Let's get into it shall we? Seeing as I have recently got back into loving Dragon Ball Z that I would attempt to redraw one of the Dragon Ball Z characters and Vegeta is one of my favourite characters of the franchise. Apparently has always been the case according to my past sketches so Let's go with him to start with. I felt really nervous doing this because it's been so long since I've drawn anything. Like, it, it feels scary to start. I don't know if, like, anyone else ever has that. Like, it just seems very daunting just to draw the first line. 
So in my head, I know it's not gonna look great. I just need to keep telling myself it's gonna get better. You know, I really dislike drawing the insides of ears. I don't know what it is. It's just, I never really know like what to draw on the inside of the ears. <laughs> you can see I'm getting frustrated like, does this look correct? I can already see from this angle that the hair is just too swooshy and that the, the face is a little bit too thin, I think. Felt like doing the hair was quite tricky, just finding out where the, what are they called? The, the spiky bits, <laughs> like where they went. Yeah, just looking at it now, the, the, the hair, I should have I should have done it again because it is, it's way too lopsided. I mean, I, I could just pretend that his hair is being blown by the wind, it's fine. It's a windy day. I always think that the eyes are going to be the easiest part to draw, but it is quite tricky. Even though it's just simple shapes, it's quite hard to get those simple shapes to look right. But the worst is trying to get the second eye to look right. Because you spend about a decade making one eye look perfect and then you come to do the second eye and it's just all over the place. Like, like you can see here, I'm using this line to try and match up the eyebrow to make it the same. But then I realise his face is at an angle so his eyebrows shouldn't be the same. He's not facing forward. He's facing diagonally, so I redraw that again. Yeah, it was around this point I realised his face was a little bit off, like it felt too thin, so I tried to make his jaw a little bit wider. I don't think it helped much, really. So I went back over his hair like this to figure out where the lighting and the shading would be.
So here I have them all lined up. First attempt. Second attempt. Third attempt. <laughs> and personally, I like the second attempt more. So I showed Adam my final version of Vegeta and his words were... Yeah, there's something wrong. <laughs> Which I can understand because the second one looks more like Vegeta than the third one does. But anything is better than this one. <laughs> so for the second drawing I decided to take the air quote Shenron drawing and actually try and make it look like Shenron. For this one I definitely used a reference because my drawing was not good. So yeah I got up a, an image of Shenron and decided to attempt that. And of course Shenron being Shenron, his pose isn't the easiest to draw. I didn't find him too difficult to draw, like the face and the underbelly, because I'm very familiar with drawing dragons, as I mentioned before, so it didn't feel too strange. It was more in my comfort zone, but still, but still a bit of a challenge. I don't know about anyone else, but watching this back at a faster speed feels quite therapeutic. Whether it's good or not, it's kind of nice to just watch sketches come to life. Maybe I could do a part two for this and attempt to actually colour these pictures in and not ruin them. Because that's another thing I find that I do is the sketch would look decent or decent for me. And then I colour it in with crayons or felt tips and it just looks shit. So that's my final sketch of the new improved Shenron and to be fair I am quite happy with how that turned out. So overall, oh crap. So yeah hopefully you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed it and I I don't think the, the results are that bad like I'll show them again like here's the Vegeta. It's the, <laughs> it's the hair but um, I'm really chuffed with how Shenron came out. I, I know I use reference but there's no harm in using references because that's the only way I'm going to learn. <laughs> I might do an update video of me colouring them in. If not, I definitely do want to do more. I do want to do, I do, do, do. I do want to do more <laughs> drawing videos anyway because, like I said, I want to get good. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of this sort of thing, just let me know in the comments. Any feedback, any advice would be great. So. Yeah, I just want to say again, as always, thanks to the patrons who support us so we can keep making this content.